continuing our conversation with Will Rogers spokeswoman Karen Carney. Now I want to get to just summer travel and what people need to know. So it is summertime or almost summertime uh -huh. at least. A lot of kids out of school I imagine travel. It's summer is just, for them. It's summer for them <laughs> exactly. School's out for the summer. I imagine this is when travel just gets wild at yes, the airport. Yes. So, I mean we always see an uptick obviously once school is out, college is out, grade school is out. Um, and, but we're also kind of seeing uh, kind of an uptick just in general travel. Uh, we've, we've been kind of flat for the last uh, eight or nine months, so it's starting to come back, and so we're really excited about that. Okay, and you said it kind of went flat for a little bit, just economy, post-election. Yeah, we kind of had a lot of different elements that were kind of, I think people were just hesitant to travel, business travel slowed down a little bit. So we're kind of starting to see that pick up, and, and that's a positive, but that obviously means a little more crowds at the airport and on the airplanes. Okay, and speaking of crowds, you took me exactly where I wanted to go. For people who are about to book some trips, you know, what times are the most crowded at the airport, you know, aka what time should they try to book trips where they can avoid the mess? Well, the most desirable time to fly is early in the morning because that you, you decrease your chances of delay or a cancellation due to other reasons. So our busiest time is uh, basically 4.30 in the morning to about 7 a.m. Okay. So that's where you're going to see the longest line at the ticket counters and in the security checkpoints. Throughout the day, you know, we have mid-morning, mid-afternoon, um, but also at this time of year, that what throws kind of a wrench into things is there are large groups that travel, and they will show up, and they all kind of want to go through everything together. So, you know, we'll see a group of 50 hit the checkpoint Jeez. at a time when you're normally expecting it to be slow. So okay. it's always kind of a risky thing to just say, it's not busy now. Right. At 4.30 in the morning, that's my time of day. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I can hit the airport at 4.30 <laughs> in the morning. Last question to you, uh, and maybe you can answer this, maybe this is for more of an economic expert. Mm -hmm. What's the sweet spot for buying a ticket? You know, you always hear two, three weeks out on a Tuesday. Do you have the answer to uh, I Dubai. don't have the answer. Okay. You know, the thing is, the airlines have really gotten it. Uh, they've really fine-tuned their whole uh, method of selling seats, and you know, they have different times, and they look at the capacity and how much of it's filled, and what the rate is, and um, you know, they have different times. You know, Tuesday night at 1 a.m. Uh -huh. 11:43. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So you know, the 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 general rule is the farther out that you book, generally, you get a better deal. But okay. Um, you know, there's really no magic Luck bullet of the that I am aware of. Okay. Yeah. Karen Carney, thank you. <laughs> Thanks as for always. having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, KSU 5 News at 9 o'clock continues right after this break.